वर्णिवे शरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्रीघनश्याम महाराजनी जय श्री हरि कृष्ण महाराजनी जय श्री ठाकुर जी महाराजनी जय श्री सदगुरुदेवनी जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी और बिलव ठाकुर जी महाराज पार्थ में कटोली ब्रेसन पूज्य पात गुरु जी एन ऑल ऑफ डिटीज जय स्वामी नारायण We know about our Guru Parampara. Muktanand Swami is the first Guru of our Guru Parampara, and we know about Muktanand Swami's life because by knowing his life, we can attain, we can imbibe his virtues from his life to our own lives, and because of that, Bhagwan will become pleased upon us as well as Muktanand Swami himself will become pleased upon us, and due to that. will enjoy the divine happiness divine eternal bliss which is prevail only and only in the akshardham while i live meaning while we remain in this body the same happiness which is enjoyed by the divine muktas in akshardham we can enjoy in this very body in this very life Moreover Muktanand Swami has written many scriptures for us whether the others they can take advantages of those scriptures or not that doesn't matter others meaning the other devotees and the other saints who are not in the descendants in the lineage of Muktanand Swami's family we are muktanandi meaning we are known as muktanand swami's paramparas disciples so now it is our responsibility to imbibe his virtues in our life to read and to tell about and to grasp the meaning of the all the written text by muktanand swami Muktanand Swami has written many scriptures in different different languages. He has read many scriptures in the Sanskrit. He has also read down many scriptures in the Hindi as well as in the Gujarati. We cannot able to understand fully whatever Muktanand Swami has written, but we can whatever we understood from his text whatever we can understand easily from his text we should learn that merely by imbibing even at least one or two verses from his life he would become pleased upon us at least he would satisfy with us let we we'll see today one of the stanzas from muktanand swami is one of the best creation call as mukta muk uh, vivek chintamani first i am going to read this kadi then we'll uh, see its meaning and then we'll discuss about it mukt kahe hari bhakt ki prabhu tarat sab ghat suri likhi lalat me कांटे से मिट जात कांटे से मिट जात मुक्तानंद स्वामी हैज रॉट दिस स्क्रिप्चर नेम विवेक चिंता में इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज दिस हिंदी इज नॉट द प्रॉपर हिंदी बट दिस इज ऑल्सो मिक्स विद द व्रज भाषा मीनिंग द नॉर्दन द लैंग्वेज पर्टिकुलरली यूज इन नॉर्दन पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया so it is little difficult to understand but in this stanza it is very very easy to understand even one who 
new gujarati those people can easily understand this stanza the meaning of this stanza so in this kadi muktan swami says that the supreme almighty destroys all the miseries of his followers of his devotees so if we are the devotees of bhagwan then bhagwan is ready to destroy our all of miseries moreover in the second line muktan swami says suri likhi lalat mein kaante se mit jat meaning suli that's the kind of punishment given in ancient time in maybe in 17 or 18 century in india that was the custom in each state like whoever has committed any particular sins or com- uh, breach any laws then the government the king the uh, force the person who had committed the sin or break the laws uh, for this punishment it is called as a suli and in particular this kind of method of punishment or we can say this is nothing but the execution but this is a very very danger or we can say the very tortureful punishment or execution there is different 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 types of execution even today's laws and enforcement but at the time this is a particular way to give someone execution in that method there is a sharp pointer vertical stake and a person's who are to give uh, who who is to uh, who are to given this suri the punishment of this then that person must be forcefully laid down on that point and merely by the weight of his or her's body he gradually come down and down and down and because of that pointed very sharp pointed stake the body peers and because of this kind of punishment the person suffer in very very dangerous and we can say very very um, difficult or we can say we cannot even explain those kind of pains what kind of pain a person suffer who has to given this kind of punishment not immediately died that person but gradually after many years that person would die with great pain so that kind of su- such kind of punishment if there were such kind of miseries happen to us in future would be fall on us then bhagwan would protect us by giving merely a pain of a throne here no one knew about this throne because there is nothing here like that but in india if you are in the field in you are in the farm then you can find easily the throne from the trees and bushes so that's not too much pain if one has peers by a throne but if someone is pierced by a suri then that's the different types of pain that cannot be explained so this is what muktanand swami want to say in this kadi so with this great example with this, with this uh, long example muktanand swami wanted to say a very very simple and great simple yet great message to us and for that muktan sun in the beginning says mukta kahe hari bhakta ki meaning those who are the devotees of bhagwan if we are the devotees we should ask our own self if you are really devotee of god you says yes then you should check the points are you following bhagwan's agnyas yes or no you are obeying each and every commands given by sadguru and santos If yes then you are the devotees of Bhagwan. Moreover Bhagwan himself has said the same thing in the Vachanamrita. And for that Sri Ji Maharaj himself says in the 70th Vachanamrita of the first chapter Sri Ji Maharaj says
even if uh, in the same way even if extreme misery is due to befall one that misery would certainly decrease slightly if one were to keep the refuge of god so what is the definition of the duty of god in this kadi written by muktanan swami that is written here in the vachanamrit if we has the refuge of bhagwan if we are the we are under the shelter of bhagwan so refuge then and then we are said to be a duty of bhagwan for that purpose we should forsake all the other kind of refuges meaning we have some faith in our body we have some faith in money like i can buy this from money we have some kind of faith in like the alarm system security alarm system we have some kind of faith in fire alarm system like whenever something happen like fire or something then it will automatically sprinkler start and water sprinkle everywhere in this way we have some kind of faith in different different things but by removing the faith from everywhere we should keep and cultivate the faith only and only in the form of bhagwan if we have a lock to our house and we are outside of the home so we are not fearing for robberies or anything why because we have faith in cct cameras and a security system and we have a lock and keys with us not like that we must be cultivated the faith only and only in the form of bhagwan like bhagwan is there he is protect me and my belongings and if thieves come to my home and they stole everything then also maharaj is with me so nothing is gone everything is with me if we have this understanding then bhagwan is always ready to protect us see sri ji maharaj before telling these words he said if there are 10 members in a household and all 10 are faced with death then it is a small feat if even one is saved this is what the understanding this is the kind of understanding which muktanand swami has and we have to imbibe this understanding by reading muktanand swami scriptures as well as this vachanamrut and many other scriptures we should learn this method to reduce our pain in our life because pain and pleasure is are the part of our life we definitely will attain miseries as well as happiness in our life so whenever we have misery in our life if we have this kind of understanding then we will easily pass those days of miseries and problems and that's why sri jimara says here if one was destined to have to beg for food but received a rotlo to eat instead is that a small feat in this case one should believe that although everything was going to be lost at least this much has been saved then sri jimara had said this sentence like if one has a refuge of bhagwan and even if he, even if extreme misery is due to befall one and that misery would certainly decrease slightly even this is what the benefit of keeping a faith and refuge in the form of bhagwan moreover sri jimaraj himself said however uh, it is if one uh, it is as if one who is to be executed on a sule gets away with the suffering of a mere pin prick such is the difference no doubt the miseries also befall on non devotee as well as the miseries befall on the devotee of god what is the difference between two those who are the non devotees they have to suffer the same amount of pain that would be fall on that on the other hand the devotees who has the refuge of bhagwan who has 
faith in Bhagwan. Then he, he, the misdeeds befall on that person as well. But what is the difference? What is the benefit of keeping faith in Bhagwan? Bhagwan reduced those misdeeds from suri to merely a pain or pain break. That's it. It's not too much pain if one is pierced by a pain break. Bhagwan gives only this much pain to the devotee and reduce and destroy all the other pains, all the other miseries he had, he had to be faced. This is what Sriji Maharaj Daya upon his devotees. And Muktanan Swami had written this Daya of Bhagwan in his scriptures. If we just if we memorize this stanza, if we memorize this kadi and remember more and more time in a day, then we can at least understand Bhagwan's daya or Bhagwan's very compassionate nature for his followers. Otherwise, the laws of karma always says that if one has performed some such kind of deeds in the past, he had to face the fruits of those karmas whether in the present time or in the future. But Sri Ji Maharaj himself cut out those kind of punishment and miseries which is which the devotees had to face. For explaining this principle, the explaining this different uh, divine nature of Sriji Maharaj, Maharaj himself give an example. There is a story illustrating this. Many thieves lived in a particular village. One of these thieves often kept the company of a sadhu. Once while the thief was on his way to visit the sadhu, a thorn pierced his foot, penetrating it completely. As a result, his food became swollen and he was unable to accompany the other thieves to steal. The other thieves who went to steal broke into a king's treasury and escaped with a great deal of money, which they duly shared among themselves. Naturally, a lot of money came their way. On hearing this news, the parents, wife and relatives of the thief who used to sit with the sadhu and who was injured scolded him. Because you went to the sadhu instead of going to steal, we lost out. The thieves who did go to steal written with a lot of money. Meanwhile, the king's army arrived, arrested all of the thieves and took them away to be executed on a sully. The injured thief was also caught and be, exe and be executed on a sully, consigned to execution. Uh, however, all of the villagers and the sadhu bore witness. This particular man was not involved in the theft as he had been hurt by a thorn. The thief was thus released. So in the same way, if Sriji Maharaj, first he said, if one has refuge of Bhagwan, then Bhagwan would protect him. By illustrating this story, Sriji Maharaj himself says, if one keeps a company of a sadhu, then he will also be released from such kind of miseries and pain. The pain and miseries which befall on that devotee who has a company of a great sadhu, then the miseries and pain will automatically be destroyed by Bhagwan himself. Just as here a thief, even though he was a thief, still he was saved. Now think for us, we are not a thief, we are a devotee of Bhagwan. If we keep a company of Bhagwan Ekantik Satpurus, then he would extremely become pleased upon us and he would grant us the final and ultimate liberation, meaning by giving us in the place by giving us the place in the Aksardham. So this is the principle of the Vachnamrata as well. Moreover, we have many examples in the life of devotees as well as in the life of Muktananda Swami as well. 
Muktanand Swami has this faith, this kind of faith in Bhagwan's form. He had not merely written the scriptures. He had written down whatever he had experienced. He had not written merely just to give advices to others. Whatever he has in his life, meaning whatever kind of experiences or we can say realization, those things he had written in the scriptures. And that's why, let me see one of Muktanand Swami's stories. We knew about many, many Muktanand Swami's stories. Like last time, Muktanand Swami was saved when he was in a great dilemma, meaning he was, uh, he had only, uh, he had no any choices what to do. If he stayed there on the bank of the river, on the jungle side, then the wild animal would kill him. If he would enter to the river, meaning in the water, the water was so deep and there were crocodiles and the water snakes and others, so he would definitely would die. And if he would not go away, then he would, if the wild animal would not come there, not attack him, then he would also die without drinking water. So in this way, there were great dilemma for him. But at the time, Sri Jumaraj himself come to him because he was not uh, not only thinking for Sri Jumaraj Kartapanu, but beyond that, he had enjoyment. Uh, he he enjoyed the moment. Why? Because he understood everything happens only and only due to the wishes of my Maharaj. Here today we are going to read the another such example which happened to Muktan and Swami's life. Once Muktan and Swami was there in Ahmedabad with the many santos. So when Muktan and Swami arrived in Ahmedabad after two or three days, Muktan and Swami began to start daily kathas. So one after one, the other devotees and the residents of that uh, uh, nearby places they were near about Muktan Swami's arrival and they gradually come to listen Muktan Swami's Katha. Those who were not the devotees of Bhagavan Swami and they also merely by listening Muktan Swami's Katha they, be they became followers of Bhagavan Swami and accepted the refuge of Bhagavan Swami and followed Maharaj's commands. So in this way the satsang gradually spread in the city. But at that time, some other bhavas and the, the Vairagis, they have natural envy, they have natural uh, ego, or we can say they have natural dislike for Swaminarayan and Santo. Why? Because Swaminarayan and Santo, they didn't have any kind of, uh, like, uh, they, no kind of intoxicating, or they are not engaging in such kind of things like bad things those not even suitable to the householders on the other hand the bhavas and Vedagis they were intoxicated with the hemp and opium they also drink bhang meaning alcohol and they will speak bad and ill words abuses the others and the santos of Swaminar and they were merely become calm they were mostly engage themselves into the worshipping and remembrance and chanting the holy name of Bhagavan Swami Narayan. So this is what and they will live the santos they will live very simple and humble life. So in this way there is vast difference and because of this difference the people who are the mumuksas meaning those who seek to attain liberation they knew about santos behavior humble behavior and because of that they accepted the refuge of this holy fallacy and because of that those bhavas and vairagis they have the natural dislikes for Swami and Santo. So one of one of a day the devotees uh, the devotees sometimes came with some gifts, some sweets, some sandalwood paste, some flower garlands for the santo 
so that santo santo could use those sandalwood paste and flowers for worshiping sri ji maharaj meaning uh in the form of idol uh, as well they they could offer the sweet as a prasad and distribute to the other uh, devotees as well so with this purpose some devotees also came with a such kind of gifts but once those bhavas they also came with the gifts they uh, they portray themselves as they were like the valvisor and they gave these bunches of sweets and also some sandalwood paste but they have ill they have the ill reason or we can say they have not the they have not the good intention behind giving this gift and because of that they have add some poisonous things into the sweets as well as into the some chemicals they have mixed with the sandalwood paste so that if the paste would apply on the forehead of muktan and swami who would be killed who would die moreover the other things the other poisonous things added into the sweets so that if santo would eat that sweet then all of the santos they would also would die immediately but because of sri ji maharaj basis at the time santo only received those bunches of gifts but not used at the same time the bhavas and vairagis in the form of valvisors they left the ashram and at the evening time when that was the time of katha vaishnavan and swami was with muktan and swami and he applied the sandal paste on the forehead of muktan and swami as a our as a way of ritual to perform puja so at the time after 2 3 minutes muktan swami was feeling something wrong he was feeling like burning senses around his forehead this is totally reverse effect if one would apply a sandal paste on someone's forehead then the person would feel very cool because the sandal paste would give one a cool experience on the other hand muktan sir was feeling some burning sensation but he couldn't say anything but after 2 3 minutes he was not like feeling anything good and because of those poisonous the chemical added into the sandru paste by those vairagis and bhavas muktan swami fell unconscious the other sadhus they were thinking what would happen now what to do what to do they were massaging swami's hands and feet but muktan swami lay there unconscious at the same time maharaj divinely appeared in the mass of light in front of muktan and swami and the santos and maharaj informed them do not worry about anything i am here to protect swami the vairagis and bhavas they have natural dislike for you santos you innocent santos and that's why they wanted to kill you and for that ill purpose they have added some dangerous chemicals into this sandalwood paste as well as into the sweet they have given to you so do not eat that sweet as well as immediately wash muktan swami is for her with the water and because of my wishes nothing would happen to muktan swami so all the santos who are in very in stress or we can say in tension so they relieved the tension and they immediately washed muktan swami's forehead with the water and merely by divine touch of sri ji maharaj maharaj uh, muktan swami came into consciousness and then muktan swami said please 
dig uh, dig the earth and bury all the sweets into the earth so that no any insect or any animal or anyone kill because of this poisonous sweet in this way muktanand swami was protected who was given a poison all the santos were also protected by sri ji maharaj who were given a poison in the sweets sri ji maharaj himself would come there and inform them this is not tables do not use this so this is what muktanand swami said in his scripture like mukta kai hari bhakt ke prabhu tarat sab ghat meaning whatever miseries to be fall on a duty bhagwan would destroy those miseries just as muktan sami himself experienced this thing in his own life and that's why he had written this kadi into his scripture sure likhi lalat mein kaante se mil jaad meaning muktan sami had only to become unconscious not to be die this is what the benefit of having a refuge and from faith in the form of bhagwan so we can learn from this muktan swami this incident and his kadi like if we want to be protected by bhagwan by maharaj we have to be a devotee of bhagwan if we wish in our life to be protected by our sadguru we have to be we have to be a follower of his each and every commands so this is what muktanand swami is kadi from the vivek chintamani this will give us the great message very simple illustration very simple language but still a great message to keep a refuge keep a devotion for bhagwan swami narayan so that bhagwan would himself come to us to protect us from all kind of miseries if we want to be protected in our life because miseries would definitely would come to everyone's life so we also have to face miseries in our life but we do not have to face 100 person bhagwan would give us only one or two person and the other 98 or 99 person would be destroyed merely by his wishes so whenever the another meaning of this kadi is also like that whenever we have any kind of pain and miseries in our life problems and difficulties happen to our life at the time we would, we definitely should understand like i have to face like not this much pain or miseries or this much difficulties or problems instead i have to face the great miseries this time but maharaj had protected me merely by giving this like a pain prick the pain of pain prick so this is what muktanand swami is kadi here written in the vivek chintamani by memorizing this kadi by reciting more and more time in a day we can also imbibe the great meaning of this kadi in our life by saying this my humble jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai shri patim shri dharam sarva deveshwaram bhakti dharmatmajam vasudevam hare madavam keshavam kamadam karanam swami narayanam nilakantham bhaje shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai